You help in. You gotta find a rock and take it out. Oh, you're gonna put them back in. So we're out at our planter bed, and uh, dirt looks crazy. Sun thawing. Don't mind the uh, pile of ash over in the corner. No, no, no. Why don't you explain that? Hey. <laughs> Why don't you explain that? Okay, that a little trick. Get out of the planter bed. Okay, bear. Okay, well, I came out here to spread the ash on this planter bed, and I was in my slippers and my pajamas, and it was really wet and snowy, and I was balancing on the edge, and my slippers slipped, and I just dumped it all in a pile, so I gotta <laughs> fix that. <laughs> that is spread. That's how Haley spread the ash. She did a fantastic job. Yep. She told me that, and when there was a bunch of snow out here, it looked very spread. It worked. Yeah, so... Great. Yeah. So what are we doing today, Haley? So, back to back on topic here. Back on track. We're out here, we're going to test our soil. So I had put this soil in these planter beds. Justin had built these not last spring. Yeah, it was last spring. It was last, last spring. spring. Yeah, it was last. It was around the same time, yeah. Yeah, around the same time, I guess, yeah. And he put in a bunch of logs, and we put in a bunch of leaves and any material that we could find, along with dirt. Um, I did try and get some of the rocks out of this as best I could. We did screen it through a big screen, so got a lot of the big rocks out, but our soil is very, very rocky and gravelly. So, yeah, actually the driveway shows just what's underneath that, like, couple, well, it's like four to six inch layer of peat moss and mud. What are you doing, dude? You trying to get in there? What are you doing? So, we're out here, we're going to test the soil today. I want to see what it's at, see how it's doing. Um, our a friend of ours in town had soil tested last year and it pretty much proved that soil around here has no nutrients in it. So I'm just curious to see what our soil has for nutrients, for pH, all of that for gardening, just the way it is. Okay, so I just want to get a little bit in here. It says in our soil tester kit, I'll show you that here in a second, that I need to go four inches deep for my soil for doing anything with veggies. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it's mostly unfrozen. It's a little bit frozen. So see how that goes. Four inches down is about there. Get all the rocks out of here. See if I can get some actual soil. Our soil is so rocky. It's amazing how much I pulled out of here and how much is still in here. Is that the wheelbarrow wheel? Is that the wheelbarrow wheel? Get a good thing of soil with not so much rocks in it. wonder if I should get just more than a cup, probably. Yeah, because we're going to have to go screen that out, I'm sure. Yeah. All right, so we'll get more than a cup here. Okay, I think that'll be good. You shoving it? Good job. Sorry if we sound a little weird. We've all been sick. <clears throat> we're finally getting over it, though. All right, so we're out here. Justin got us all set up in the greenhouse to get our soil dried out. Got our pH soil already out. Here is the soil for our nitrogen, phosphorus, and the other test. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> okay. Was that potash? Is that what you it call was it? potash. That's right. Yep. So he said, we're probably yeah. saying it wrong. But... Maybe. Potash. Okay. Well, there we go. It's out and. We'll let that dry out so we can pick out any more rocks. Got most of them out, but let that dry out and get our soil samples and get our test done. Hey guys, we are out here in the greenhouse today. We are going to get these soil tests done. So I'm starting with our pH test and we are going to take this cap off. Got our little tester, these little pills that it came with, dropper, water, all of that. So basically it says to let your soil 
dry out. So that's what we did. We've let this dry for probably a couple days. Probably didn't need to go that long, but we had some things going on. Anyways, here we go. So then it says remove the cap, make sure the color chart film's in place, which it is. I'm going to take this dirt and kind of crumble it up a little bit. I wanted to get all the rocks and stuff that you could out of it. Said not to use your hands, but I don't know how else you're supposed to do it. My hands are going to be in this soil, so whatever is what it is. Okay, so we got to fill this to the line with dirt here. With our sample, which is like all clay and <laughs> nothing else. But you know what? That's okay. We're going to test it. We're gonna, that's the whole point of this is to see what the nutritional value of this dirt is. So for those of you who don't know where we live, we live in interior Alaska, eastern interior Alaska. And where we live in particular um, was an old riverbed, ancient riverbed, I should say. So this soil is very new and it's really just decomposed vegetation animals at this point. So it's, it doesn't have a lot of nutrients. Um, we had our friends test the soil last year and they gave us what they got and it was really bad. So that's why we decided, decided to garden at our, another friend's house who had good soil that was brought in at some point. An old garden that we refurbished and used last year outside. And it was great. I learned so much about gardening in general because I really hadn't gardened period dot at all before last year. This has all been a very new experience for me. So... I'm interested to see what this dirt is though. At least then I know for sure what we've got or we don't have. Okay, so I wanna do something later. Okay, so we're right at the fill line there, so that should be good. Let's see if we can do this. It says this pill is supposed to just pop apart. There we go. All right, there's our powder. Okay, and then use a drop of water to add water, preferably distilled. This is closest to distilled as I have, so here we go. That's our water, whatever. I gotta fill it to the water line. Okay, so that's to the water line. Okay, got my cap. And let me get this out of my way. I hear geese. The geese are coming back. Summer's coming. I hear them. They're loud. I wonder if they're trumpeters. Probably are. Okay, so now we need to shake it. Blah, 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 make sure it's tight and shake thoroughly. <laughs> Allow to settle and color to develop for about a minute. So we got a minute, guys. Shake this up. We'll be back in a minute. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> so I think comparing it to the chart, it's kind of hard to tell in the video. Um, but I think it's probably that 6.5. Somewhere between the 6 and the 6.5, but probably closer to the 6.5 pH. So, I mean, that's what I figured. I figured we were at 6 to 6.5, somewhere in there. So that's about right. So the pH is pretty spot on to what I was thinking. Now we need to get ready and do the other tests. With the rest of this soil. Huh, does it? What do you think? You like the greenhouse? What do you think? You're so cute. Okay, now we're back. The afternoon got way chillier, but anyway, we're back in the greenhouse. We are going to finish up our soil tests. We have our nitrogen, our phosphorus, and potash test left to do. So in this test, we need to get a one cup of soil and five cups of distilled water is what it says. I have distilled water, so we're gonna use our filtered water and see what we get. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fill this guy with two cups at a time. Get our up to five. Okay, there's our five cups. Five cups of water. We need one cup of soil and instead of do the same thing to actually get it down without rocks and stuff. I got my cup of dirt. There's still some rocks in it. It's all it's in there. It's rocks, pretty much. Okay, we're gonna dump it in here. So let's dump it in here. Five cups of water, so 
thoroughly shake or stir the soil and water together for at least one minute and then allow the mixture to stand undisturbed until it settles. Okay, let's shake it up. All right, well I'd say it's looking like chocolate milk so brown milk really. Let's go with that. Now this has got to settle for a while and it's probably gonna take a while to settle. I'm guessing it says 30 minutes to 24 hours. So I'm going to bring it inside with me and we'll just keep an eye on it until it does settle. And then we'll run our test. <laughs> we got our new duck rain suit. <laughs> Safe to say, he loves it. <laughs> Where are you been, Smoke? You are wet. <laughs> Lord, climbing teeth of the dog. Get him! Get him, Smoke! Get him, Smoke! Get him! Get him, Smoke! Get him! <laughs> hey, you are kicking the mud. You're kicking it up. <laughs> Is that funny? Is that funny? Get him, Smoke! Get him! Feel the light? Get him! Light. He's back. Come here. So today we are back. It's been a little over 24 hours, but we're going to get our potash, our nitrogen, and our phosphorus test done today for our soil. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see how that goes. So basically I just need to fill these to the line with the liquid from our test here that we did it's settled they said you wanted it as clear as possible the water in there that separates from the soil so it did take quite a while because our soil does have a lot of clay in it so we'll just start off with the potash test sorry if i'm saying it wrong <laughs> amateur gardener here just winging it okay all right get in here fill this up All right, so we filled that to the line. It's probably a little over. It's all right. Filled that up. Pour that in there. All right, got that. Powder's in. Now, let's get our cap put back on. And we'll shake it up. And then we gotta let this sit. For 10 minutes. Shake it up. Let it sit. We'll be back. So now we'll do the same thing for our nitrogen and phosphorus test. So now we got all our tests sitting out. We're gonna wait 10 minutes. See what our tests end up being. Okay guys, now that we have all of our test results showing that pretty much the soil as we expected has a pH level of about six to 6.5 and our potash level we're probably deficient in, our nitrogen and phosphorus is completely depleted in this soil. 
it needs sand for sure. I do know that just because of how much clay is in here and gravel, really. It's like clay and gravel is basically what I have. So the question is now, what can we do to amend this soil? Can we do it naturally? How long does that take? What can we do? Because we want to grow our potatoes and our beets outside in our outdoor planter beds. And I really don't want to buy garden soil like we had to do for the indoor greenhouse. This is going to be its own baby in here. <laughs> but out there, I really want to use screen topsoil that we can get locally. That's been screened and has sand added. But we still need to add potash, nitrogen, and phosphorus to that soil. So what can we do to add what we need to grow potatoes and beets? That's what I'm going to start doing some research on, start figuring out what I can do. If you guys have done this before, if there's anybody out there that's like, oh yeah, this is a quick and easy way to do this, add this to your soil, let me know. I'm all ears. I'm learning right now. So I tried to do composting. I did start a compost pile last summer, but I didn't really take care of it. Didn't really know what I was doing. So I really don't have a lot of compost. Um, basically our soil around here, anything that I can get off the top right now is like peat moss and some dried leaves is pretty much all you're gonna get up here. Um, like out of just trying to get natural flora and fauna right now. So that's where I'm at. What do you guys think? If you have ideas, suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Um, and we're going to see what we can do for the outdoor planter beds and decide what we need to do. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I got a whole bunch of build stuff that's coming for you. Don't worry. We're getting back on the cabin build. Sorry, it's been a little bit slow. We all got super sick and we were fighting that for about two weeks. So we're finally all better and back to building. And we're waiting on our garden soil for our greenhouse to get that finished up. So have a bunch coming at you. Stay tuned. Till next time. Catch on the flip side.